What's up, y'all? Your boy is back. Um, I haven't uploaded in a week. I'm pretty sure y'all didn't miss me anyway. Um, the Grammys came and went. Billie Eilish won damn near every single award. I, no, no, I believe she won every single award. Okay. Uh, people on Twitter hating on Billie Eilish. She's only freaking 18. Y'all stand to some freaking weirdos. You know what I'm saying? Like, anyways, <laughs> let's talk about the Grammy winners, man. Album of the year, uh, Billie Eilish won with When We All Fall Asleep, uh, Where Did We Go? She won it over Lana Del Rey, Ariana Grande, Her, Lil Nas X, Cause I Love You by Lizzo, uh, Vampire Weekend, and Bon Iver. First and foremost, I don't freaking know how Lil Nas X got nominated for Album of the Year, but alright man, okay, um, I felt, do I think she should have won Album of the Year? Nah. I mean, when you compare these choices, I guess it makes sense. But I mean, if we really being like, we, we being for real, she didn't have album of the year, fam. I love Billy, but she didn't have album of the year, bro. That was ego. Come on, son. Stop playing with me. Uh, record of the year. Billy Eilish won again with Bad Guy. Now, I do not understand how she won over Lil Nas X for record of the year. If, if... If Lil Nas X was going to win any damn thing, I think, I believe he did win two Grammys or one. Um, but if he was going to win anything for sure going into the Grammys, he should have had record of the year, bro. It don't make no damn sense, man. That, that, that song did numbers. Okay, did insane numbers. It started off as a meme and went viral. And the man is a legend now. Like, you, y'all not thinking about that, bro. The Grammys don't think about that. The Grammys gave a Grammy to freaking Cardi B over Astro World. I'm still pissed off about. Relax. The song of the year, Billie Eilish again, but uh, wins with Bad Guy. Um, she won it over. All of these other choices. Yeah, the Bad Guy makes sense. I mean, Bad Guy makes sense. Maybe Truth Hurts by Lizzo, but ah, whatever. I'd rather give it to Billie. Uh, I don't know how her is getting nominated for. Um, album of the year and, and, and song of the year, like, really? Like, I love her, but she didn't, I, I don't think her songs did, I mean, did they do numbers? Maybe they did, and I'm just an idiot, but, um, I don't know, you know, I was watching Sean the other day, and he did say something about, I don't, he doesn't understand how her continues to get these nomi, these Grammy nominations, but I'm starting to agree, because, like, Song of the year? Like, huh? <laughs> Best new artist, Billie Eilish won over Black Pumas, Lil Nas X, Lizzo, uh, Maggie, a lot of these other names, I have no idea who they are, except for Rosalia. I love you. I love you, Rosalia. I freaking love you. Um, Best pop solo performance, Lizzo won that. Okay, that's, that's not bad. Best pop duo group performance, Lil Nas X featuring Billy Cyrus, he won, they won that. That's cool. He deserves a freaking Grammy for the, again, the legendary ass song. I guess you wouldn't call it legendary, but when you thinking of the charts, it did numbers, bitch. All right? It did freaking numbers. Best pop vocal album. Billy I <coughs> Billie Eilish won best pop vocal album over Ariana Grande. Best pop vocal album. And you gave it to Billie Eilish over Ariana Grande? First and foremost, that's not the only issue I have with this. Why the hell is Ed Sheeran nominated for number six collaboration project? Why? Why? For what? Y'all explain it. Explain it. That project was a hot barrel of ass. Don't mean no dames. I don't know what happened to Ed Sheeran. He did some wild ass stuff on an Eminem album. He dropped that garbage ass project. The man has been cheeks, okay? Straight dumpster juice. Just disgusting, okay? I could go on and on about how ass Ed Sheeran is now. But to nominate that man for that garbage ass project, I'm sorry, bro. I know it's harsh. I know it's like, damn, Dylan, relax. No, 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 no. That shit was terrible. Best R&B performance. Who won? Who won? Is that telling me who freaking won? Oh, no, no, Anderson Pack won that. Anderson Pack, Andre 3000 won with best R&B performance. Happy for Anderson. Happy for Andre 3000. I love y'all. Um, 
Let me see who else. Best R&B song. I don't care about that. Best R&B album. Uh, Anderson Pack one with Ventura. He freaking deserves it. Definitely freaking deserves it. Bro, BJ the Chicago Kid actually got nominated for 1123. Yo, 1123 was a great album that came out last year, bro. Really, really great freaking album. I didn't even know it came out until like, like, mm, close to the end of the year. I was just checking for other albums and stuff like that. I was like, wait, BJ dropped the album? It's a really freaking good album, man. One of the one of the underrated albums from last year. So I'm really surprised that it actually got nominated. So I'm happy for him. Even if he didn't win, I'm happy that it got nominated anyway. Uh, let me see. Best rap performance. Racks in the middle with Nipsey Hussle and Roddy Rich. Deserve it. Um, I could have easily see them get if they didn't give it to uh, Nipsey and Roddy Rich. I could have easily seen them giving it to uh, the baby for sure because that freaking song played every damn way to the point where I, almost, I wanted to shoot myself. I wanted to shoot every time I turn the radio on. Every time, son. Stop playing. The, the radio only played five freaking songs back to back for 10 hours straight. And Suge was number one on the damn list. Best rap song, 21 Savage featuring J. Cole a lot. I'm very pissed off that J. Cole won a Grammy as a feature. But when it came to his individual projects, Grammy was like, ah, nah, flip you, bitch. It don't make no damn sense to me. But <laughs> it's water under the bridge. Cole got, finally, finally, Cole got a damn Grammy, okay? I'm happy for him, proud of him. Keep doing your thing, bro. And 21 Savage got a Grammy, too. How could you be mad at that? You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> let me see. Let me see. Best rap album. Tyler Creator wins with Igor. Um, people were actually saying that Tyler didn't deserve this out this uh, nomination because Igor isn't even a rap album. You can't blame Tyler in this sense because Grammys, uh, you know, they put him under the category as best rap album. You know what I'm saying? If anything, it probably would have been better on the best alternative album. Or maybe uh, something else that's <laughs> not best rap album. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm still happy. Regardless, I'm still happy for Tyler because he freaking won a Grammy. He deserved a damn Grammy. And um, the album was freaking amazing. I still blast it. It's still my album of the year for uh, last year. And if he does decide to drop an album this year, I will be blasting it again. Um, Tyler the Creator has grown, you know, evolved as an artist over the years before our very freaking eyes. And I can't wait to see what he does this year and, you know, years to come. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so best urban contemporary album, Lizzo won with Cause I Love You. Uh, eh, it was alright. That, that one was okay. Um, I, again, I'm so happy that uh, Steve Lacey and um, Now were nominated for Grammys because their albums were amazing as well. They deserve that. I'm also happy that Jessie Reyes got nominated for an album, which she's dropping an album uh, soon, I believe, unless it's already out. Uh, Lizzo also won for best traditional R&B performance. Um, alright, that's cool. No problems there. Let me see. Anything else? And Dave Chappelle won for Best Comedy Album. I mean, how could you not give it to Dave? Like, he's been killing it on Netflix. He finally came back. With ki it's Dave Chappelle, but it's Dave Chappelle. Okay? It's Dave Chappelle. He's a freaking legend. You don't like Dave Chappelle? We, I don't think we can hang out if you don't like Dave Chappelle, bro. I, I keep it a beat. You don't like Dave Chappelle, something gotta be wrong with you. And, uh, <laughs> Lil Nas X also won a Grammy for Best Music Video, so, you know. Hey, oh shoot, Beyonce won a, a Grammy for um, Best Music Film with Homecoming. That's not bad at all. Um, anything else? Producer of the Year, non-classical, Phineas. That's uh, Billy Eilish's brother, right? That's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right, I think that's the end of that. So, uh, yeah, man, uh, Grammys came and went. Uh, Billy Eilish damn near took all the freaking awards. I'm very mad that Ariana Grande did not win a freaking Grammy, especially for Best Pop Vocal Album. I don't understand how you nominate that girl for all them damn Grammys and she don't win at least one of them bitches, but okay. You know, it has happened to the greats. It's happened to Lana. It's happened to Nick. It's happened to Nikki. You know what I'm saying? I, I honestly, I don't care about award shows. I do not watch award shows because I always feel, I always have felt like, you know, it's 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 more of a popularity contest than actual than actually about the music and it pisses me off. Again, they gave a Grammy to Macklemore over Kendrick. They gave a Grammy to Cardi B over Travis Scott. Like it's crazy to me. 
okay? Um, there's so many other artists who have been deserving of Grammy nominations, who have came and went. Their careers have been here and now they are gone. They're doing other things in their life. So it's like, bro, how could you just, how can you have these people on this big ass stage and then give it to somebody, in my opinion, I don't really feel like they deserved it that much. Like, okay, maybe they are deserving of the nomination because of the hard work and everything. I'm not saying that they're not hardworking people, but it's like, damn, bro, how do you screw something like that up? You know, how are you not in tune with what is actually going on in the music industry to where you're just, it looks like you're just giving these awards away to people. And it's, it's just mind boggling me. You know what I'm saying? But that's the freaking Grammys. That's the award shows. You know, whatever. I'm glad I'm not a part of it. Hey, let me get nominated for a Grammy one day. I, you will never ever hear me not talk about that bitch. Even if I don't win. I'll be like, my name is Dylan Jackson and I am Grammy nominated. And, and in my opinion, I feel like every artist, whether, I don't care what genre of music they make. If you've been nominated for a Grammy... You cannot say that you're not successful, bro. You cannot say that your career has not been an accomplishment, man. Straight up. I feel like every single artist who has been nominated for a Grammy, whether they win or whether they lose, you know what I'm saying? That just goes to show you, you are be you have been noticed, you know? And you're doing something right. <laughs> you are clearly, clearly doing something right. But again... When it comes to the Grammys, you know, you could only take it for like a grain of salt, you know what I'm saying? Because the people running this shit is crazy. It's ridiculous. But anyways, man, that's my Grammy video. That's my review, whatever you want to call it. Um, I was supposed to do a reaction to Tabby's new song, but I already heard it. So I might just, I'm either going to do a review for it or just scrap the video. I don't, I don't even know right now because this video is just on the spot as, as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, that's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more. As always, join the squad. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts and your opinions on the Grammys. Um, who did you want to win? Um, are you happy for those who did win? Just talk to me in the comments. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace.